In this video, we're going to talk about rollover captions, images, and slidelets. Okay, so I've got one of my responsive design courses up here, and uh, this was um, inspired by uh, an email that I received this evening. Someone's having some trouble with rollover captions, images, and I don't know if they were thinking about slidelets, but I figure I'll cover those anyway. So here's the first thing I want to say about rollover anything. Rollovers were a fantastic thing back in the days when we all had computers and touch pads or um, mice or anything like that because of course you can move your mouse over something and just simply roll over it. But we're entering a new world. Uh, a lot is changing. A lot of uh, e-learning is now becoming M-learning, which is uh, for those that haven't heard is short for mobile learning. And it specifically refers to all the mobile devices that are out there, whether it be an iPad or an Android tablet or a smartphone or an iPhone. Uh, there's going to be a lot of training in the future that's done on these devices. More and more young people who are entering the workforce uh, want to use their own devices at work. Uh, they also want the flexibility to take training wherever they want. And one of the things that most mobile devices, unless it's really an old mobile device, um, most of them don't have a mouse. You know, they don't have a cursor that you can move around on the screen. So therefore, rollovers just don't work. There's no analog in the touch world. That's why when you're responding, uh, when you're designing a responsive design course, and you want to try to add such an object to your course, you'll see that those items are grayed out. Normally, you would have them available to you from the objects drop down icon, and you'll see rollover caption, rollover image, and rollover slidelets are unavailable. So that doesn't mean they're entirely dead. You might be in a situation where you're designing uh, not a responsive design course, but rather a blank project, a standard static uh, aspect ratio project, I guess. Let's just uh, do a basic one here, 640 by 480. And we'll just take you through what those three options can do for you. So the idea is that it allows the user to become a little bit more involved in the learning rather than just simply giving them a page full of text. You can get them involved. You can ask them to roll over a particular object and it could be something as simple as a shape with a message. Uh, let's just do this here. We'll just do a little text box here, or actually in this case, a smart shape. And we'll just say, roll over me. That sounds kind of dirty, but it's not meant to be. Um, we'll just bump up the font a little bit there. And so I can do a couple of things here. We'll just put that in the corner there. Roll over me. And maybe it's something. Roll over me to learn more about this topic. This topic. Can't type tonight. Let's just add some uh, margins to that so it fits nicely. That's nice. So. I can add, let's uh, start off with doing a rollover caption. And this is probably the most common. And you're going to get two things. You're going to get this blue box. And the blue box, uh, of course, is the rollover area. Now, this is really there for your, uh, you know, for your sake. It's not going to say rollover area uh, when you run it. Uh, but it will be blue. So you could actually make this entirely transparent if you wish. And let's get rid of the stroke. And then the additional information will appear in this text box that you see here. And that's all there really is to it. You know, additional information. And we'll just bump up that there. And let's just do a quick preview. Uh, of this project and we'll see how that works. 
So pretty straightforward when I roll over the box, which you don't see because I've made it transparent, I see the additional information to the right there. And you can place it wherever you want. One of the other things that you can do, let's, uh, let's get rid of this rollover and we'll do a rollover image. Now this works pretty much exactly the same, except that, uh, let's just take a picture here. Yeah, I'll just take a picture. Let's, oh, there's me and my mother and my sister. So I'm just gonna hold down the shift key and resize this and <laughs> roll over here. to see a picture of me as a child. Perfect. So again, here's my rollover area. You can keep it blue if you want people to, uh, to have a visual cue of where the rollover image is, but you can just as easily make it transparent and then rely on whatever's behind it to be your cue for those folks there. So let's just do a quick preview uh, of this project and we'll see what that looks like. So again, just a, another way to hide information and, you know, as you can imagine how you could use this for different sorts of activities, maybe like a memory game or, or things like that. So that's fine. We'll do get rid of that here. Now the next uh, available item is a rollover slidelet. And I'm not sure that slidelet's really a, a real word. But uh, the idea with a slidelet is that whatever you put, you know, you, in the previous two examples, you've had one thing that will appear, whether it's a text box or whether it's an image of something. The, the thing with the slidelet is uh, if I select the slidelet, I can add a whole bunch of items and it can be, you know, a multi multitude of different things. So let's um, let's add some objects to this slide let here. First of all, maybe we can put a triangle. You'll notice that it, it doesn't let me put it anywhere else except for inside the slide let. And uh, again, select the slide let and I can put a text caption in there as well. And that's going to be fine. We can just say here is an example of a triangle and let's just bump up the font a little bit there so that will pretty much work you could even put um, let's say you could put um, let's just select that again and we could put an image in there as well and let's say we'll put uh, we'll put this one in again, you know, it's fine. I'm just going to resize this to a cut. Oh, I can't do that. I have to keep Once I've set it, I guess I'm stuck with it. Um, oh yeah, no, I can resize it. I guess I just couldn't, uh, resize it the way I wanted to. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's reset that to the original size and I'm just going to keep the aspect ratio correct. So the idea is that because they're all within this bounding box, if you will, um, all three of these objects will be part of that rollover. So let's just test that out and we'll just do the whole project since it's only one slide. And there you go. You get all of the objects appearing there and that's fine. And you can just do this forever if you want. And that's pretty much it. So, but again, the thing I think that's most important about rollover objects, rollover text, rollover slidelets is that if you're thinking of future proofing your courses, which I would strongly encourage you to do, I wouldn't include rollovers. I think, you know, a button to reveal additional information would work because of course you can do that with your finger as well as a mouse. So keep that in mind before you put too much uh, rollover stuff into your, your new courses as you develop them. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful, useful, entertaining, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.